Welcome to another video traders. So in this video, we'll be looking at a trade that I took. Uh, this is essentially how to trade the news edition of our videos. Uh, so I'll be showing you this GBP JPY trade uh, where I took a sell position uh, after we had the Bank of England interest rate decision, right? So I'm going to show you the trade first and then obviously I'll explain why or some of the reasons behind why i actually executed this position right so as you can see this is gbp jpy on the 15 minutes time frame so obviously these are screenshots of the actual trade as it was moving in my favor and as you can see right here i had already taken partial profits right so before we get to the chart where i break down how i entered and where i entered let's firstly look at the actual story behind why I actually took the trade, right? So this was obviously after the Bank of England actually cut interest rates uh, on uh, on, on uh, Thursday, right? So as you can see, the heading of this uh, or, or the headline here is the Bank of England cuts rates and there are more to come this year, right? So this is basically the view from the Think ING team. Uh, as you can see, the Bank of England is staying tight-lipped on when it expects to cut rates again, but we think better we think better news on services inflation and wage growth can unlock one or more likely two rate cuts by the year end right so and then obviously if you read this article they break down or give their reasons why they hold this view right so this was the reason why i actually sold gbp jpy but what really made me decide or, or, or actually go with gbp jpy instead of gbp usd or gbp nzd right the reason for that is because on wednesday we had the Bank of Japan interest rate decision. And for the Bank of Japan interest rate decision, they were not expected to increase interest rates, right? They were expected to hold in, to keep interest rates on hold, but they actually raised interest rates, right? As you can see, BOJ raises short-term policy rates to 0 0.25 from 0 to 0 0.1, right? So they were not expected. So it came as a surprise to the markets that they actually increased interest rates when they were not expected to increase interest rates. And at the same time, they also reduced uh, or, or started tapering their quantitative easing program. Obviously, that that leads to tighter financial conditions, and it works hands in it works hand in hand with what with interest rate hikes. So that means that we're expecting some some sort of strength coming into the Japanese yen currency, and at the same time, when the Bank of England cut interest rates, we're expecting some weakness coming into the GBP currency, right? So that made sense that I need to sell the pound and buy the Japanese yen, and that is why I opted to go with GBP JPY instead of GBP USD or GBP NZD or GBP AUD, right? And also another reason was because obviously there were a lot of uncertainties from it from a geopolitical standpoint, right? And that led to the volatility index or the VIX, uh, the CBOE VIX actually being elevated or increasing, right? And that sort of created a risk of sentiment in the whole environment and, and we understand that when the when the sentiment is in a risk off then that benefits what the safe haven currencies right or safe haven assets and the japanese yen is one of those safe safe haven assets and the pound is not right so all of those essentially the stars aligned to actually go with gbp jpy instead of gbp nzd right so this is just to give you the understanding of the reasons why i sold right or decided to sell gbp nzd right sorry gbp uh jpy so as you can see this is the one hour time frame that we have and if you do not know how i actually trade the news based on a technical analysis standpoint watch the video that i'm just going to link link up on top right there because i've already created two videos where i explain to you how I trade the news. So I take you through the process of what I look for on a chart before I look to execute, right? So I'm not gonna go over that in this video, just what the visual, the videos that I've linked up on top here. So with that being said, here's, here, here's, here's what happened. So the news got released on around one, it was just after one, 1 p.m. South African time during this one hour candle here, right? So, so I had two levels. I had this level of supply and I also had this level of supply, right? And obviously, like I said, watch the watch the, the previous two videos that I did on how to trade the news so that you can know why I, I went with these two supply levels on the one hour. And then I immediately dropped to the 15 minutes time frame and waited for what? Waited for confirmation, right? So as you can see, price came into this first zone and then obviously it just broke right through that zone, right? Obviously, 
then I disregard I disregarded sorry the zone then price continued to push higher and then it gave us a bearish engulfing as you can see right here and then obviously when price pulled back into it that is when I took my my sell position right here right so that is when I took my 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 short position and as you can see based on the screenshots let's go back to the screenshot so you see you can see this is how it was so my intro was here stop loss right above the swing or my my entry trigger and then obviously i kept on holding and uh this waited for the market to decide what it what it wants to do because at the end of the day when i've executed my position then i have no control to what the market actually does whether it goes in my direction or it pulls back and takes out my stop loss i have no control over that right but as you can see this was how i entered this trade let's zoom out a bit and then obviously when when price was around here it had achieved my first objective or my first target right watch those the previous videos videos that i did so that you can have an idea of how i actually trade the news so it had reached my first target and then obviously i closed most of most of the of, or majority of my position or my initial sub position size i actually closed that and then obviously because i'm still expecting some sort of strength for the japanese yen and more weakness for the pound then i just allowed or left a small position to actually continue running so that i can see how far that can go and as you can see this position is already 500 and what 516 pips and my stop loss was around 40 pips around 40 pips stop loss and this actual position has moved 500 500 plus pips you know but in essence it was just to show you that it is possible to trade the news and you don't you do not necessarily have to enter before the news get get released because you at that point you're setting yourself up for potential major losses right because remember when 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 they with when there's an, a high impact news that is going to get released the spreads widen first and foremost but secondly the moves are very volatile so a lot of slippage can happen where you actually end up getting filled at a worse price or maybe the market just jump your, jumps your stop loss if you entered in the wrong direction so that is why we wait for the news to come out and then we make our decision when we actually have the data when we actually have the facts right not before we have the facts and, and just guess the direction so that is why that is how i took this gbp jpy trade and this is just to show you how you can actually trade news because remember the whole strategy that we use or the whole uh, process that we use is we focus on the fundamentals and when I say fundamentals it's not just trading the, the news calendar right that means we have a macro perspective picture or a bigger picture view of the different economies of uh, the global landscape what is happening right whether it's geopolitical or based on different economies to make our decisions and then when we have this sort of crucial decisions or, 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 or high impact news then we can also trade those in the short term using our strategy in terms of how we look to trade the news right so i hope you found value from this video and if you do not if it did not make sense what i just explained in this video please watch the two other videos that i did on how to trade the news because in those video i go more in depth and i explain the whole steps step by step the whole process step by step in terms of how i actually trade the news right so if you found value uh, like the video and obviously if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And lastly, also, uh, if you want to get updates or daily updates on from a fundamental analysis perspective, join the free Telegram group. So click the link in the first click the, the first link down in the description. So click on that link and then it will take you directly to the actual Telegram group where you'll be able to get updates every single day and uh, just be clued up on what is happening fundamentally. Right. So. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video.